All right, so we've got this particular function um, defined in this way, and we want to show that it's of the type considered in 2-4, and then conclude that f is not differentiable at 0, 0. So of the type in 2.4, so what we want is we want f to look like this. So we want to find some function g such that f of x could be written as the norm of x times g of um, x over the norm of x. And g needs to be a continuous real valued function on the unit circle such that it satisfies those things. Okay, and then if f can be written in this form, then it automatically follows by 2-4b that f is not differentiable at 0, 0. Well, you have to prove that this function you end up with is not the zero function, but that ends up being not difficult in this case. Um, so what you do is you, you might try a few things out and you see, okay, well, we've got this thing x times y on top. That sort of looks like a function. And we've got this thing norm of x squared plus y squared. Well, that's just the norm of the point x comma y in R2. So you might think, oh, well, maybe the thing on top is g of x and the thing on bottom is just a norm of a thing. And that ends up being right. So you let g of x comma y be x times the norm of y. g is clearly continuous because it's a product of two things which are continuous. Um, and if you evaluate g at 0 comma 1, you're going to get 0 times the norm of 1, which is 0. And if you evaluate g at 1 comma 0, you're going to get 1 times the norm of 0, which is 0. So both of these equal 0. And if we plug in um, the, ne if you take a point and plug its negative into g, so if you take the point x, y, then you negate that point, you'll end up with negative x comma negative y. And so this will give you, so we have negative x times the norm of negative y, which is equal to m minus x times the norm of y. Um, but x times the norm of y is g of x, y, so this is just negative g of x comma y. Um, so this function g is the type of function from 2-4. Furthermore, when x and when the point x y is not the zero vector, when it's not the origin in R two, um, because remember we want f to be written as um, that weird thingy when x comma y is non-zero, but we want it to be zero when x comma y is zero. Well, that's already taken care of by the problem statement, so we're only really concerned about points which are not the origin. So we write this out and if w what happens if we take um, g of x what what actually happens if we evaluate g of x y or if we evaluate g at the point x y divided by the norm of x y. So we can write this as well, x, y, the point x, y divided by the norm of x, y, that's the same as g of x over the norm of x, y, comma, y over the norm of x, y. So now we can see how we actually plug this into our formula for g. We start with x over, um, well, the norm of x, comma, y is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. So we take that and then we multiply by, we have to take the absolute value of y over square root of x squared plus y squared. So if we combine the numerators, we're going to get x times the norm of y. And if we take the denominator, we're going to end up with um, the square root of x squared plus y squared 
times the square root of x squared plus y squared, which will leave us with x squared plus y squared. Thus, for x, y not equals to zero, we can write f of x, y. Well, we know that it's equal to x times the norm of y over the square root of x squared plus y squared. Well, the square root of x squared plus y squared is on the bottom, so we can multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of x squared plus y squared. So this becomes x squared plus y squared times, now we get xy here divided by x squared plus y squared. And well, this thing we have on the right here is exactly what we um, had before, which is equal to g of x comma y over the norm of x comma y. And the thing, the thing over here, that's just the norm of x comma y. So we end up with the norm of x comma y times g of x y over x y. Okay, so so g does everything we want it to do. It satisfies all the desired properties, and f matches the form that you have from 2-4. So, thus by 2-4b, f is not differentiable at the origin, zero in R2. And this completes the proof.